Hey everybody, it's Justin. Today we're going over different camera modes. Let's get right into it. The first one I call the program camera mode because in the programming screen, not many people seem to know this, but wherever you move it around and then press the plus button is where it starts. Pretty basic camera and it doesn't really affect your gameplay, but it's pretty nifty to know that you can move it up and down in case you want to see things from a new perspective. If we don't want to keep going back to the same position, let's head down to objects and grab the fixed camera just by clicking on the camera button here. And then we can put it up high and see things from a whole new perspective without worrying about where we press the plus button from. While we have this camera out, we can go ahead and connect it to the person for the next camera style. Then we can take one of these sticks I used to make the person move, copy it, go into the settings and change it to the right stick. Then we're going to copy this one one more time, go into the settings and change it to left and right. Now we're going to be able to connect these to be able to move the camera. This is going to be a first person camera as is, so we need to go into the person and set him to invisible. Turn visible off and you'll be able to move with a first person camera. For the third person camera, all you have to do is go into the camera settings and change the Y to about 2.5 and the Z to about 4. And then we just need to go back and change the person into visible so we can see him. And just like that, we have a beautiful third person camera and we're able to move the joystick around to get a new perspective. All right, we're done with this camera note on, so unfortunately we have to say goodbye to him and his friends. But no worries, we're going into the game screen and we're about to get another game mode. Here we go. This is the game screen camera, and this one will act as a fixed camera as well, just by leaving it like this. In order to get the game to move horizontally with the character for 2D side scrollers, you can hook them up to the screen, and then you might want to disable this forward and backward movement. Now he can move left and right and the camera will follow him whichever way he goes. Last but not least, we need the auto side scroller. Let's go ahead and get rid of this game screen connection here and we need to put in a constant. Now this constant at one, if we just connect it, it's not gonna do anything, it'll be the same. So we need to change this actually down very low because we're going to be using a counter. 0.03 seems to be about right. Then go into the middle section, grab a counter, and put this guy here. Then hook up the constant to count up. It'll count up by 0.03 each time. Hook that to the X, and you will start to move at a nice pace here. Now it's worth mentioning that you can adjust this by moving the constant to a negative 0.03 so that it goes in the exact opposite direction. This will be useful for a lot of auto scroll levels that are going to the left, even though not too many people use that. If you want to change this to a vertical auto scroller, hook this up to the Y and it'll start moving the screen up just like this. And if you want to do a really cool effect, hook it up to the Z. Make sure you have a forward and backward movement like this. And you can start doing this kind of game where you're moving forward, doing some shooter style or anything else. I hope this guy has helped you guys out. And until next time, happy building and God bless.